I'm going to show you how to make this long rectangle box frame. Now the first thing you need to do is print out the template size that you want and this is on a 75-80 gram paper. Next print out the card that you want, the design and I'm going to use two sides on this so I've done a corresponding design on the opposite side. This will become the inside of the box. Always be careful as well that you've got the uh, design going the right way so when you if you've got a design that is going one way as well that it matches up on the other side now what I've done here I've already cut out the template and I've just put a little bit of masking tape to keep it in position so you can line this up and get it exactly as you want it now all the lines here that are dotted these are what we're going to crease and then they will bend over and crease easily now to do that, I put a little bit of foam underneath. I find it easier, it helps. But you have to be careful because you don't want to press down too heavy otherwise your tool will go through the paper. So if you weren't using the foam, you press down quite heavily. But if you're using the foam, it's better just to do a few little strokes like that. And you can feel after a couple of times of doing it that it's actually creasing the card underneath. So you go all the way around and you do all of that to all of the dotted areas. Then you take your scissors and then you cut out the main design. When you've cut it out, you end up with it like that, as you can see. So there's the template that I used. I cut out and then I'm left with this. Now that's going to be the inside of the card and that's going to be the frame section. So the first thing you need to do, you can see what I've done here. I folded all these areas over so it works really easily. So I'm just, first of all, you've got these little uh, ragged edges here. These are all straight. Those you do last, you do these ones first. So all you're going to do is just add a little bit of glue along the edge here on the first one. Just a little bit of glue. And then what you're going to do is just fold that under and push it up against the inside there so it forms that kind of frame there. Now if you put it right up to the inside there it stops going any further because you've got the measurements all perfect you've got the perfect box there. So then you just repeat that on the opposite side and then just let it dry for a few minutes before you tackle the next section. So these two edges here are now firmly stuck down. Next we're going to do this edge here and again just a little bit of glue along the edge, the inside edge there. Like so. And then just tuck it in and fold it over like that without getting your fingers on. Now if you lean that back a little bit just concentrate on one side first. That corner's gone in there like that and again if I just do this side just pull it back a little bit that'll slot underneath and that will butt up there like that. So now you've got that in position there like so. Now what you can do to hold it in position there while it's drying I've just taken a little bit of low tack masking tape, hold those two corners together, giving it time to dry. And when that's dried, whichever glue you're using, uh, just let that dry first before you tackle this side. This side is now ready to stick down. So again, just a little bit of glue down there, like so. And then tuck it over and under, try not to get glue on your fingers and then just ease, one, look after one side first, just ease that underneath there, just get that right, tuck it under and roll it over, just ease that down and get that underneath like so, then it might be a good idea to just use a little bit of masking tape again just to hold it in position while well, you manoeuvre the other corner and again that's just tucked underneath just lean that back a little bit and ease that in there 
So you then you've got your frame and you can see the background there is the back there. And I've got another little piece of masking tape just to hold this in position. Now one little tip is if you find when you've stuck it together these are coming apart a little bit well then just ease it out a little bit and just put a little dab of glue on there you can use a cocktail stick if you wish but I just put a little bit of glue and then just squeeze that together so it lifts up that goes in and then you've got the glue exactly where you want it not all over the place and then put your masking tape back just let that dry and it'll be ready to use so there's the basic box frame ready for you to decorate.